Hello YouTube friends! In this video I will show you how I charge my batteries and something about my new charger. As you can see I have a lot of batteries in different types and capacities. Some 3 cell lipos for my airplanes, some 2 cell lipos and 6 cell nickel metal hybrids for my cars. Until now I used the Advantage Touch Charger from Team Orion. But with so many RC activities, it was a problem to charge all these batteries in a short time. But recently it's a new charger from Team Orion available, the Advantage Touch Duo. It is possible to charge two batteries at the same time with it. So, let's have a closer look. As first you can see a size conversion of these two chargers. The dual charger is quite a bit larger than the single charger. Here you can see the connectors, the charging cable, the balancer board and the yellow one is a connector for use it with 12 volts DC. On the other side it's the same. The only difference is the connector for 220 volts AC or another voltage. Depends on the country you live. On the front there are two connections for an optional temperature sensor and a possibility to connect a USB cable for a software update. Let's turn on the power. The software structure on both charger is the same. Only a few more functions on the new duo charger. The first battery that I want to charge is this 3 cell LiPo with a capacity of 2600 milliamps. And the second one is this 3 cell LiPo with a capacity of 2700 milliamps. So, I'm ready now to set the charging parameters. After the first startup, you can select a language. You can see the first channel is selected for the battery, who is connected on the left side. And now the charger perform a setting assistant. It asks me as first which type of battery I have to charge. I choose LiPo. As next, I have to select how many cells my battery has. I set 3 cell. As last step, I have to select the right capacity of the battery. It's 2600 milliamps. Now the charger is ready for charging, discharging, cycle, balancing or storage. I choose charging and when I remain more than 2 seconds on the charge button, the charging process starts. Now I switch over to the second channel to charge the battery who is connected on the right side. As you can see, all the settings were transferred from the left side. Only the capacity is different on this battery, so I have to change it to 2700 milliamps. And I start the charging process on this channel also. Now I switch back to the first channel. You can see different informations here. As first the capacity, who is charged in the actual process. The second parameter is the duration, the elapsed time in the actual charging process. And the last one is the actual charging current. On this side, there are some parameters of the battery, the actual voltage, the peak voltage and the resistance. To see all these informations for both batteries, you can choose the split screen button. 
and so you can see all the relevant information for the two batteries at a glance. I switch back to the first channel to show you more possibilities. I choose balancing status. On this screen I can see the actual voltage of each cell in the battery and so the balancing status. And on this side you can see the values displayed in a bar chart. I go back and choose graphic. Here you can see the growing voltage in the battery, displayed in a graphic diagram. Of course, all these functions are also here for the second battery. Now the charger charges the battery until it's completely full, or you can stop the process with this stop button. Now I'll show you another example with this two cell lipo from my RC cars. It has 4500 milliamps capacity. I connected the battery on the right side, so I changed to the second channel on the right side to make the settings. The battery type is OK, but I have to change from 3 cell to 2 cell. And the capacity to 4500 milliamps. So that's all and I can start the charging process. For additional settings I push this button with the plus. There are a lot of possible settings on this charger. I can't show you everything. I'll only want to show you a few more things. As first the memory function. Here it is possible to save the parameters of your favorite batteries. After you can choose the load button and all settings are done automatically. This function is possible for 6 different batteries. As you can see I already saved my two type of airplane lipos. Here on this button more are additional settings. Here are some settings to adjust the sound, some peep effects and melodies. And here on theme colors is it possible to change the colors of the display. And on the last screen it is possible to change again the language. So I hope you like this information and this overview of this new charger. And here again, a small upgrade of my work in progress Jeep Wrangler. Thanks for watching, please give me a thumbs up and see you next time.